Uh, this speaking of making the rounds around social media, I saw this yesterday a lot. DMac, people all of a sudden everybody came loose with their top ten quarterback list. That just that was you know, woke up and boom, it was everywhere. Um, we had this from Pro Football Focus: the top ten quarterbacks in the National Football League. This one seemed to draw the arrow slings and arrows from everybody. And you know, Patrick Mahomes at one, obviously, he's the best quarterback in the game. He's the closest thing we've seen to Tom Brady since Tom Brady. Uh, Josh Allen, number two. I don't value Josh Allen the same way that everybody else does, but him not getting over the hump has a lot to do. He's got to do it at some point. Uh, Joe Burrow at three. Justin Herbert. I think you guys overvalue Justin Herbert. A 500 quarterback is on that list, but whatever. We'll discuss that later. Aaron Rodgers at five. And DMAC, I noticed this when you talk about top 10 quarterback list, people came to me right away and on social media and said, well, Neil Goff's not on there, your thoughts. And I looked at the list and I said, you know what I'm more offended by? I'm offended that Aaron Rodgers is fifth on that list. You want, you want to talk about Miguel Cabrera? Okay, let's play this game with Aaron Rodgers. Didn't have a 300-yard passing game last year. Oh, so Miguel Cabrera's this season at and Aaron Rodgers' last season is the same thing. Stop it, At Neil. all. That's fair. Well, you I didn't. never said Miggy's the fifth best, you know, fifth best first baseman in the game either. That's true. D- we're, D-Mac, we're already seeing it. Yeah. The I New mean, York effect, we're already seeing it, aren't we? No, it, that's exactly it. But the, the, the stats, like Aaron Rodgers is that possession quarterback. I mean, it, system quarterback now. Not the gunslinger as much because he hasn't slung the gun. You know, if I if I looked at that, my my list goes Mahomes, Burroughs. I put Hurts. You know, we talked about him earlier, but he's proven enough to me to move up to number three. Allen Lawrence, Herbert Jackson, and I put Goff in front of Rogers, Prescott, and Cousins. Right, that's where I put Jared Goff, of what, uh, and I think he, you know, a little disrespectful to not have him at least in front of in front of uh, Kirk Cousins or Dak Prescott, but that's just. You know my belief in him. I believe he's a top ten guy. Yeah, and uh, on this I think, team, and yeah. then Rogers. Yeah, Rogers. If you're going by stats and what he's done, it. Uh, yeah, the that that is the New York effect. Just as much as like, root for radio, man. This is gonna. It's only gonna get better and better and better and better when it doesn't work out. And with that, I. And it, we are to the point too, like with these things, I almost feel bad, like like I'm I'm doing a disservice to the audience, right? That I'm kind of pushing the easy button or stuff like that. But for me, it it, it was the the list was laughable. And look, I value Jared Goff the more than most. And I know people like Sam Flannel will just jump right in the statistical waters and move out. For me, it's deeper than that. It's the economic value he provides based on his salary. When you look around the room. And what other people are making. Uh, that's part of that's one of the biggest reasons for me. Uh, he was a top three quarterback in the NFC. Is that fair, Sam Flannel? Yes, I would say two. Okay. You know, top three quarterback in the NFC last year. Uh, people are lit about the Rodgers thing too. They said uh Rogers Rogers over Hertz is laughable. Aaron Tackett says Kirk Cousins is mid AF.